Good morning, students. Today, I am going to start a very important chapter, and the name of the chapter is Recruitment, Selection, and Training. This chapter is very important for the board examination as well as. it is very important for your future life also because this chapter is going to give you a brief concept about recruitment selection and training so in your future life definitely you are going to apply for a job and when you are going to apply for the job what are the procedures to get the job okay this chapter will give you certain ideas and you understand the meaning of recruitment the meaning of selection and the meaning of training and how it has been done it will be easy for you in your future life also to face the selection process and the training process also okay So now let me tell you before going to start this chapter, what are things you are supposed to learn from this chapter for the purpose of ICSC examination? Okay, first one thing is the recruitment, and the second thing is the selection, and the third thing is training in this chapter. Before going to tell you the things what you are supposed to learn, let me tell you this three thing: recruitment, selection, and training. Are interlinked with each other. The first step is recruitment. The second step come selection, and the third step come training. So today, I am not going to discuss all those three things in your class. Today, just I am going to start the first step that is recruitment, and in recruitment. what all things you are supposed to learn for the purpose of icsc examinations are recruitment you run is meaning second thing internal sources and external sources of recruitment and in internal sources and external sources of recruitment these two things you are supposed to learn one is meaning and the advantages and these advantages so today i am only going to deal a part of recruitment in today's class okay and what all things i am going to discuss in today's class first things i am going to discuss recruitment what is the meaning of recruitment only i tell you today and the another two things what i am going to discuss in today's class is the meaning of internal sources of recruitment and the meaning of external sources of recruitment and this chapter i will discuss you in details because if i discuss you in details it will help you in your future life also okay so first i am coming to tell you the meaning of recruitment Now, what is recruitment? Basically, recruitment is the process to motivate the prospective candidates to apply for a job, and it makes a pool of candidates, and it is a positive process. Once more, what is recruitment? Recruitment is the process. to motivate the prospective candidates to apply for a particular job and it makes a pool of candidates and it is a positive process okay you can give the definition in the other way also you can say recruitment is the process of attracting the potential candidates and motivating them to apply for the job and create a pool of candidate it is 
a positive process. Once more, recruitment is the process of attracting the potential candidates and motivating them to apply for the job and create a pool of candidates. So here I told you motivating and I told you prospecting and I told you pool of candidates and I told you positive process. So let me explain those words. First I told you prospective candidates. Who is the prospective candidates? Prospective candidates are those those who are searching for a particular job. Like I, you, those who are interested to apply for a job, they are basically called the prospective candidates. Okay? They are actually motivating. How it's motivate? Because whenever you are going to do the recruitment, it is done in different manners. I'm not going in details of that. Just I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes an advertisement is given in the newspaper. And there it was told, the candidates, those who already passed, uh, you know, 10 plus 2 examinations, they can apply for a particular job and this is your salary, this is your allowances, this is the facility you are going to get. All those things are given in the newspaper or any journal or in the TV channels, okay, or any, you know, social media. When those things are given, a candidate like you and me, Okay, who are not knowing how to do, how to do, what basically do, who apply for that particular job. Okay, when you apply for that particular job, that is what is called the recruitment. Okay, and why pull up candidate? Because for a particular post, not only one or two persons are applying. What you have noticed? Thousands and thousands of people are applying for a particular job. That is why it creates a pool of candidates. Okay? That is why it is called recruitment. So remember the keywords of recruitment? Motivating. Who? The prospective candidates. For what purpose? For the purpose of applying for a job. What it creates? It creates a pool of candidates. What is its type? Its type is positive process. What type of process is this? Positive. Now the question arises, why it is a positive process? Very important data. Why it is positive? When you apply for a particular jo job, if you apply for the hope that you are going to get it, that is why it is called a positive. Like when you come to take admission in a particular school, when you apply for the admission process, that time it is positive because your mother, your father, your relatives, everyone is hoping that you are also going to get the chance in that particular school or not. So when you are hoping for the good, that is why it is called a positive process. So I told you the definition of recruitment. And I told you, whenever you are going to write the definition of recruitment, what are the keywords? Again, once more I will remind you, prospective candidates. Second thing, motivating them. Third thing, create a pool of candidates. And the fourth, it is a positive process. So please remember the meaning of recruitment. Okay, beta? Next, this recruitment are of two types. One is called the internal sources of recruitment and other is called the external sources of recruitment. Now what is internal sources? We understand. What is the internal sources? Internal means from inside the organizations. Okay? From where? From inside the organization that is what is called internal sources. So if I tell you a definition of internal sources what you are supposed to write? It is the process of filling vacancies with a business from its existing worker, workforce or workers. Once more. It is the process of filling vacancies within a business from its 
एक्जिस्टिंग वाक फोर्स और आधार विभाग की कराई थी यार इंटरनल सोर्सेस ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट इन्वॉल्व मोटिवेटिंग द एम्प्लॉज ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू अप्लाई फॉर द ओपनिंग विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट मीन्स इंटरनल सोर्सेस ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट से वेन एवर यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर पोस्ट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड हु इज गोइंग टू अप्लाई द पर्सन दो जो आर ऑलरेडी दे आर इन साइड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और दो जो आर दे आर वर्किंग इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे आर अप्लाइंग फॉर That is what is called internal sources of recruitment. Like, if I want to give an example, suppose in our school, there are drivers are also there, and the kalasis are also there, and the sweepers are also there. Suddenly, a vacancies of drivers are there in the school, and what the school management decide? the school management was not interested to take the people from outside the organization for the post of a driver so what the management did the management motivated the existing worker those who are working in the school and those who are knowing the driving to apply for the post of a driver that is what is called internal sources of recruitment here they are not allowing any outside people to apply for the post of a driver only the workers those who are working in that particular organization they are allowed to apply for that post where there is any vacancies or they are that is what is called internal sources of recruitment okay now i'm coming external sources of recruitment same thing beta internal means inside external means when you are motivating the people motivating the candidates those who are not inside the organization those who are not the existing worker of that particular organizations but you are motivating them to apply for a particular post to create a pool of candidates that is what is called external sources of recruitment should the question ask you define external sources of recruitment what is right it involves motivating the skilled and more efficient candidate external to the organization to apply for the vacant position in the organization once more it involves motivating the skilled and more efficient candidates external to the organization to apply for the vacant post in the organizations so what all things i told you today i told you what do you mean by recruitment once more i want to tell you these things because you must know the meaning clearly recruitment means recruitment is the process of motivating the prospective candidates to apply for a particular post or a job and it creates a pool of candidates and it is a positive process and already i told you what do you mean by motivating what do you mean by the prospective candidates and how it make a pool of candidate okay and why it is a positive process i already told you please learn those keywords second thing i told you internal sources here also recruitment that is you are motivating someone to apply for a particular post what is internal sources here also you are motivating your existing worker or existing employees those who are already working for an for an organization and you are motivating them to apply for a particular vacancy what is been arise in that particular organization that is what is called 
internal sources. You are not going to take the application from anyone from outside for that particular post. You are only going to take the application from the people who you are already working in that organization. That is what is called internal sources of recruitment. Here also you are making a pool of candidates. Like 10 or 15 people are applying for a particular post from the worker who you are working in that particular organization. So here also you are getting a pool of candidates. But here the pool of candidates will be less in comparison to external sources of recruitment. Why? Because internal sources of recruitment has a limited number. Because those who are only working for that organization and those who are interested for that post, they will only apply. On the other hand, what is external sources? That means you are motivating the candidates, those who are not inside the organization, those who are outside the organization and you are motivating them to apply for a particular post or a particular job, they are called external sources of recruitment and the external sources of recruitment will give you a huge pool of candidates. Why? Because thousands and thousands of people will apply for a particular post. Okay? So if the definition comes, I already told you what is external and what is internal sources of recruitment. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you.